So, okay. we have, this is the x-coordinate, and or the x-axis, and this is the y-axis. And remember I told you last week that the first number that they list, this is the x, and then the other number is the y. So they're always going to give you the horizon line. Like when you go to the beach, here's where the sun sets. They're always going to give you this line first. And then they'll give you the vertical line of y. So if you did 3 comma 4, you're going to go over 1, 2, 3. And then you're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you're going to place your point. And it's good to label it like this, 3 comma 4, so that you can remember what that stands for. Um, we'll do one more. We're going to do six. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're going to do six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we can label that six comma six. Make sense? Yes. Okay. So these right here are positive numbers. And these right here are positive numbers. But this is where our negative numbers go, and this is where our negative numbers go. So if you have a negative 3, comma, negative 3, we're going to use our horizon line, our x-axis first, and we're going to go this way instead of this way. Does that kind of make sense to you? That this is negative 1, this is negative 2, this is negative 3, this is yeah, negative 4. Yeah, and so on. Yeah. And then this is negative 1, 2, 3, negative 5. This is positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. And then so on. Yes. So if we're doing negative 3 and negative 3, we're going to go over 3 and we're going to go down 3. Okay. I don't think you're doing negatives yet, but I teach it all together because might as well. Okay. And then if you have a positive and a negative, it gets a little tricky. You just have to keep track of what you're doing. So this one is three. So we know that's the X axis. We go this way. And then because our y is negative, we go down. Okay. If I had a negative first, I would go this way. And then I'd go up because my other 3 is positive. So this would be negative 3 comma 3. Make sense? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then this is what you're doing. Or no? Um, no. Okay. Are you doing this? No. Um, uh, it's on page 67, I think. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're kind of skipping around. Okay. Does And this make sense to you? Yes. Okay, we did that last week. Okay, awesome. All right. Sometimes they're going to give you the coordinates and then you have to do the graph. But in this case, they did the graph and you have to give them the coordinates. So let's try to figure out what do you think the coordinates are of this right here? What do you think H is? Um, hmm. Zero and three. Yes. So you would do parentheses. Zero comma three. Yep. Yeah, we do this in our homework. So okay. Our homework. Yeah, has. Okay, so this makes sense to you. Yes. Okay. Cool. 
All right. Um, then we can skip to doing this one. So this is the um, table, and it says the week and the weight. So usually... The X is the first thing that they list, and the Y is the second thing. So you're going to actually make the coordinate of 0 and 4, and then you're going to graph it. Here's 0, and then we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and then you're going to put your point. Okay. So you can do the next one, and I will stop the recording because I think you've got it. Is that true? Yeah. Okay.